My wife is going to set up at a local craft show and she wanted to have these stars draped across her table hanging off these doll rods, but she needed some way to clamp them to the table. So she asked me if I could design something in Tinkercad and 3D print it. Well, I did. And I'll show you how I did it on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. I opened up Tinkercad and I brought in a whole box. Now this is going to take away material, but it represents the width and height of the table that I need to clamp around. So I took some dimensions, made a block that fit that, and then the next step I needed a cylinder to represent the dowel rod. Now it's a half inch dowel rod, so I did a 13 millimeter hole or cylinder and just brought it up. Now that I have the two key components that I need to build the clamp around, I brought in a solid box. I positioned the two table and doll where I wanted and then I sized the box to fit those two objects. And then I actually rounded the edges so this will look a lot nicer just using the radius tool within Tinkercad. Once I had that in place, now I needed to slide the table takeaway into this block so I know how it's going to fit over the table itself. Once I had that in position, the next step was to bring in the dowel rod. I slid that into the center, brought it up a little bit, and then I made the block into a hole so I could see how deep everything was. I actually slid the dowel rod a little bit lower. And then I needed to center these, and so I used the align tool and I centered along the one axis, which would have been the X axis. And then I made it into a solid again and then grouped these all together. And I had the beginnings of my basic clamp. But now I need some way to tighten this thing down around the table. Under the featured shape generators, I found this metric thread. I brought that element in, and then I also brought this gear into it, which I'm going to make into the handle to twist this thread and make it into a set screw. So the first thing I did was size that handle down to like three millimeters tall. I actually adjust this later on. And then the threads I smoothed out by increasing the number of segments. The next step was to raise the threads higher and then adjust the size of the handle so it would fit my fingers better. Once I got those where I wanted them, then I centered them with the align tool in both the X and Y direction, and I had the beginnings of my set screw. Now I wanted to lower this below the bed to minus four millimeters and then slide this over into my clamp so I could get a feel for the positioning and this was looking good. But now I wanted something to dig into the table and really hold it. So I placed a work plane on top of the surface of that set screw and brought in a half sphere. Then I wanted to make this smaller so I made it eight millimeters by eight millimeters and three millimeters tall and then positioned that on top of the set screw. So this will be the knob that will actually dig into the table but not hurt anything because it's nice and round. So once those are all centered together I grouped it and I had my set screw. Now I needed to make threads into the clamp. So I duplicated my set screw, I brought it into the clamp, and then I made it slightly larger. And then I'm going to turn it into a hole to take away material. So I made it into a hole, and then I just grouped that together with the clamp, and my threads were created slightly larger than the set screw. I raised the set screw back up to the surface, changed it to the same color, and the design was complete. I exported each individually as a STL file so I could print one or the other or both. I printed them both together on my CR10 Mini and here was the first test. And we put that on the table and it fit nicely but there's some changes we wanted to make. So I took it back to Tinkercad and I used a triangular shape to cut these teeth in the bottom. And then I moved the dowel rod to the same side as the set screw so that way the set screw is on top. We felt that worked a lot better. So I brought that into Cura put it to a 0.2 layer height, 50% fill. This is Cura 3.2.1. Said it would take two hours and 48 minutes. That's an estimate. It took more like three and a half hours to print. For the final design, my wife wanted black color, and so I used my Filament Friday filament. That's right, I'm gonna have my own filament brand, Filament Friday filament. It's gonna be PLA, some basic colors to start, available on Amazon, so stay tuned for more. The prints came out great. At a 0.2 layer height, these things look fantastic. And the threads fit in just fine. Although about halfway through, I could feel it getting a little tight. So I grabbed my pliers and just twisted the clamp back and forth a couple times. I think there were some nerds or something in there that needed to be broken away. Once I did that, this thing could spin by hand all the way through, all the way down to the bottom. So the threads fit perfectly. 
The next step was to test the dowel rod and I got that size right too. It slid right in and fit tightly. So now it was ready for her to paint the dowel rod and install. So she painted it the blue to match her table and the tablecloth and then I slid it over that and tightened the set screw. And once this thing was tight, this thing grabbed beautifully. The whole table shook. It was not going anywhere. So she hung her stars from her two doll rods on her custom clamps and she's ready to go to her craft fair. So if you like this project, maybe check out some of the other projects that are popping up here. If you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon and get you into Chep Club. And also, if nothing else, click on that Chep logo and subscribe. That way you don't miss a future episode. That's it for this week. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.